<coughs> hey guys, um, True Rational Atheist here, and this is my video on the history of philosophy, because somebody had to say something. Um, I know there's plenty of other people on the internet who talk about philosophy, but they're all people like Sequester Zone or Philosophy Tube who do shit like vote for Obama, so, I mean, why the fuck should we listen to them? So, anyways, philosophy begins with Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. Um, one guy taught the other guy who taught the other guy. Um, I'm not gonna get into their differences because, I mean, how, how different can they really be? I mean, if somebody's saying something correct, and if you were really rational, you'd agree with them. For example, me and most of my online friends agree with TJ, but we all disagree with our teachers at community college because our community college teachers say all sorts of irrational shit like, you know, come to my class at 9 a.m. and the humanities are important and the Holocaust happened. So anyways, my guess is Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle were probably on the same page since they were all rational. Uh, anyways, so if you, if you really want to know the differences, if they even exist between those three, there's a bunch of, like, statues of them that you can see in, like, a museum, maybe. I mean, I, I don't really support museums because they're run by collectivist leeches that profit by stealing my tax dollars, but, I mean, I, I guess you could get more information from there. Basically, Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle all asked a bunch of questions about the stuff that was going on. So this is just the beginning of having a whole bunch of science. If you like film and the history of film, think of them as a bunch of Charlie Chaplins. Like, Charlie Chaplin was good, but it's gonna take kind of a while for things to develop before we get really, really good movies like V for Vendetta. So anyways, after these three, we had the Roman Empire. Um, or maybe it was before... Were these- wait, hold up, were, were these three Romans? I don't know. Uh, fuck it, they wore togas, drank wine, and they lived in buildings that are falling apart nowadays, so if they weren't Romans, then they might as well have been. Oh, uh, by the way, if you correct me, I'll make fun of you for majoring in something useless like history. The Roman Empire was great until it got ruined by feminists, and then after the Roman Empire fell apart, we hit the Dark Ages. The Dark Ages were from the year 400 until the year 1400. Nothing fucking happened in between those two points in time because everybody just mindlessly followed religion. Now, I know the PC police is gonna jump on me and say shit like, What about the Islamic Golden Age? Um, yeah, it didn't happen. There's a whole fucking Thunderfoot video on it. Do some goddamn research. So anyways, one day, Galileo and Isaac Newton were walking along, and then they said, Uh... This sucks. And then they decided to do science. Like, a whole bunch of science. Their science level was at, like, level 52. And the Pope's science level was at level zero because he's a fraud and he never even played video games! So Galileo and Isaac Newton teamed up and completely owned the Pope because the Pope was a noob, didn't know how to play Call of Duty without sitting there and sniping people. Then the Renaissance came. We, we had all sorts of philosophers in this time, like Voltaire, John Locke, Calvin and Hobbes, all sorts of people come in, and they did Renaissance. Renaissance is basically the history version of Feels vs. Reels, and Reels won all the time. But then, some philosophers in the 1800s decided Feels were better than Reels, which brings me to fucking Kant. Kant looked at all the people using reels, and he wrote a big book called I'm Not Listening Because This Hurts My Feelings. He teamed up with Karl Marx. Karl Marx was this guy who didn't feel like going to work on Monday, and he wrote a big book called I Am Lazy and the Government Should Take Care of Me. These two lazy crybaby manginas inspired a bunch of other lazy crybaby manginas who set up the Frankfurt School, who recruited their team of feminists, communists, and people who care about black people, and sent them off to destroy all straight white men. Friedrich Nietzsche saw this bullshit and debunked all their YouTube videos with real atheism and science, and then their videos like-dislike ratio was terrible, which basically means none of their shit passed peer review. Um, later on, Ayn Rand did the same thing. She was a good philosopher too, but she was no Nietzsche, and she wasn't hot, so you know, whatever. This next part is gonna upset the so-called philosophy majors, but 
I mean, what the fuck ever, I play a lot of video games, I watch a lot of Rocking Mystery videos, so I know what I'm talking about when it comes to battles. Anyways, it all accumulated in the final battle. Nietzsche on one side, Marx and Kahn on the other. So Nietzsche uses his science attack, which reduced Marx and Kant down to 1 HP. But then Marx and Kant both used their feels attack, which got a critical hit on Nietzsche with a KO, which is fucking cheap because Nietzsche had a whole bunch of items he didn't get to use. So because Nietzsche lost the final battle on a technicality, Academia stupidly thinks that Kant and Marx are relevant, and their kumbaya, let's all hold hands and sit around the house bullshit, permanently poison universities everywhere, making the STEM majors the only majors that aren't completely useless. Kant and Marx's ideas ruined all the other subjects, they ruined TV, they ruined music, and they even ruined Russia. Because Russia was pretty cool before communism, except for the religion part, of course, and now they're coming to the internet to ruin that. So, that's the history of philosophy. Uh, future philosophy may seem glum, but hope hasn't been lost, because remember, you guys are all rational human beings and therefore naturally good at philosophy, and the other side is all people who, like, went to college and got a degree that doesn't help anyone make more amazing technology, such as laptops, video games, and other gizmos that keep me in my room for days. With enough effort, we can avenge Nietzsche, and overthrow all the SJWs who say shit like, be nice to people, cause it's the internet and you should deal with it!